Whether you're recording an interview, tutorial, or any talking head content, having multiple angles you can switch to makes things more visually interesting, or if there's something you want to cut to but not have it so abrupt like a zoom, having those multiple angles allows you to do just that. And you can even do it just using mobile devices and Riverside. This entire intro was actually recorded and edited in Riverside, all in multicam, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. I typically record multiple camera angles every time I make a piece of content. If I'm doing a how-to tutorial, maybe about USB microphones, having that top-down B-roll camera shot as a second angle means I can switch to that while I'm talking about a device, then I can switch back to my A-roll or my first camera angle whenever I want to address the viewer directly. You can also consider multiple angles like a screen recording. I'm actually recording my screen right now. This way I can show you how to do multiple camera angles in Riverside. And this angle you're seeing right here is actually an iPhone camera using the Riverside app. And you'll actually see Riverside is recording right there on my computer. Now trying to do multiple camera angles can be expensive if you're using mirrorless or high-end cameras. But even if you just have one high quality camera or none, using mobile devices like an iPhone, iPad, and Android allows you to do multiple camera angles at the same time. Now, typically, if you recorded locally to each of those devices, you'd have to download each video file and then try to sync them up in Final Cut later. Even having three pro cameras, like in an interview setup, can be pretty cumbersome to manage those files. Plus, that's a lot of data you have to store and will likely need external drives. But you'll see I've mixed and matched multiple cameras. I have my Sony mirrorless camera here. I'm actually using an iPhone for the second angle right up here. And the third angle is another iPhone. By the way, if you want to see how I build a cage around an iPhone to do professional video podcasting, you can check out this video right above. All you need is an iPhone and Riverside, and you're ready to go. Now, when you're setting up multiple camera shots, if you're by yourself in a studio, obviously you want the A-roll pointed directly at you, likely you in the middle. As a secondary angle, the top-down camera is a great shot, but you can also do a camera that's slightly off angle, maybe push it back wider so you see more of the behind the scenes, the microphones and the lights. That's typically a fun look. And while you can put cameras on either side of a subject for multiple angles, try to have one wider than another. So it's not just a different angle, but it's also a different look and capturing more of the scene maybe helps you see more of the set. And again, if you're talking about objects that you want to show on camera, I really like this low desk angle. Like it makes it easy to focus closely on an object. And again, it's just very visually different and helps engagement throughout a video. So like I mentioned, I've been recording all these camera angles in Riverside. You can do that by just downloading the Riverside app on each device, whether it's an iPhone, iPad, or Android device, and then get the invite link for a guest here, have each mobile device sign in as a guest, and then right before you join the studio on each mobile device, make sure you use the mute device feature. If you don't, then you'll hear your own voice coming out of those device speakers, and it's gonna cause an echo. So mute all the devices you're using for those multiple angles, and once you're here in the Riverside studio, you can just start recording. Also, when you use the Riverside app on mobile devices, you can record in up to 4K quality. You'll see here, that's that 2160p that you see here in the studio. And one other thing you might wanna to do to see the entire camera angle is go to the brand tab, and then under video frame, choose fit. That's gonna show you the full 16 by nine video of every camera angle, making sure you can frame it just right. Once you hit record in the Riverside studio, now all those camera angles are recording simultaneously and uploading to your Riverside dashboard. This way you don't have to save files and worry about taking up space on your computer. Then as you record the multiple angles, you can either switch to one while you're still looking directly at the A-roll or the first camera, or you can actually plan to intentionally switch to a camera and speak to it directly. This is also great for visual engagement, change the angle up on me, but I'm still talking to you directly. And when you record with Riverside, the editing is incredibly easy using our new Smart Scenes feature. So what I'm gonna do here is actually stop the recording. All the files from those mobile devices are going to upload. You'll see it here in the pop-up window. Happens really fast because it uploads as you're recording. And all that video and audio is recorded locally on each device, which means it's gonna be incredibly high quality and it's gonna look great in the final edit. One other quick tip for the name of the guest when you join on those mobile devices, I actually named it Angle 3 and Angle 2. This way it's just easier to see that in the editor. Now that my files have uploaded, let's jump into the Riverside editor and I'll show you how to put it all together. Once your files have done processing, you can go to the recording files. If you still like, you can download the individual files from every camera angle, including those mobile devices. By the way, here on the recordings page, you also get snapshots when you record with Riverside, which is great for sharing on social media. But let's jump into the Riverside editor and I'll show you how to do multicam editing super fast. So at first you're gonna see all three camera angles shown here in the preview, but you can edit the scene using our new Smart Scenes feature. I'll click Edit Scene here and then go to Tracks and I can choose to hide the secondary and third angles. Also, you'll see the transcript actually has all three camera angles. You can avoid this if you mute those other devices like the iPhones when you recorded initially, but I can fix this here in post as well. If I expand the tracks, 
click my secondary camera angle, and then I'm actually just going to mute this track. But those camera angles will still be available for me to switch to. I'll mute angles two and three, and then collapse the individual track editor. And so now I can preview, and I'm just getting the audio from my main camera. And anytime I switch to actually look at a different camera, now I can add a scene using this tool here. And when I go over to tracks, I can choose the secondary camera. I'll show the secondary camera, hide the first, and now I'm talking to that second camera directly. Then I can go forward through the timeline, add as many scenes as I would like, and then just choose the camera angle I would like here in the editor. Now I have a multicam edit all here in Riverside without having to manage a multicam clip and all those different video files. Plus, because I'm here in the Riverside editor, I have access to all of our AI tools like Set Pace, which will remove the perfect amount of silence. I can use our Smooth Speech tool to remove all filler words and unwanted sounds. And I can enhance my audio by removing background noise and make any mic sound studio quality by applying Magic Audio here. If you want to quickly reformat the video, you can use this tool here to go to a vertical 9x16 or square. You can add animated captions using our tool here, and even save your favorite presets for use in things like Magic Clips. Choose how you want to highlight the active word, and change the active word color. Now we have animated captions while we're changing camera angles here in the Riverside Editor. And if I ever want to overlay an image, I can use our Image Overlay tool, pick an image, expand it to fill the frame, and I can change the in and out point of that image here in the timeline. I can also add text overlays, maybe add someone's name or title, add more scenes throughout. And remember, editing your content is as easy as selecting text here in the transcript and clicking Delete. Once you've edited your content how you'd like, you can go to the Export tool, export up to 4K video quality, and then your video is ready for YouTube, Spotify, or wherever you'd like to publish it. And that's how to record and edit multicam video all in Riverside. If you have any questions, leave comments below this video. I'll answer those personally. And be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. We have more features coming very soon. You don't want to miss them. And we have lots of tutorials on explaining the editor in depth and even live streaming on Riverside. If you want to learn more about live streaming, check out this video right up here. Or if you want to learn about upgrading your setup, I actually talk about the entire studio I have here for every video that you see. So if you want a behind the scenes look, learn about my gear, check out this video right up here. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.